All right, guys, so we got this thing in here. All we have to do, apparently, is put an empty soda can inside of here. Oh! <laughs> what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill camera. But it's about to get a whole lot cleaner, Rep Pack, because today it's about to get a whole lot brighter and a whole lot cleaner, because today, guys, we're going to be doing some cleaning. What? Cleaning? Cleaning. Oh, yeah. God, what? 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 Where are you going? I don't want to clean. I don't want to clean. That's not fun. What? This is going to be clean. This is fun cleaning. This is going to be fun. Watch this. Come on! What? We're cleaning! But th that looks even less fun now. It actually looks more dangerous. Like, I bought these because I thought it'd make things more fun to clean. What are we cleaning? Ch Chernobyl? Like, <laughs> no, we're cleaning this room. Come on, guys. So, first off, there was a bunch of stuff in there that you guys have never seen before. A bunch of stuff that I bought for videos and different stuff like that. And circumstances didn't end up in the video or you guys never ended up seeing it. So, we're going to be going through there, cleaning it, showing you guys different stuff as we find it, which I think is going to be super fun. And then, not just that, we're going to find how hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully find my unboxing knife. <laughs> <laughs> because Parker's been saying, oh, I didn't steal it. I didn't take it. I didn't throw it on the roof or yeah, drop it, flush saying, it down the toilet. I've been saying the truth. Yes, they're lying. Oh, how would they even, even go down the toilet? I don't know what kind of sick person like you does to get things down <laughs> toilets, okay? I don't know what that knife thief does to get things down toilets. All I know is we're going to be in there also looking for that. Let's go ahead and give you guys a little tour of what it looks like in there first. Let me put this thing back on. Before we get in here, you might think, oh, man, like, how could you let it get like this? You must be, be so irresponsible. And you're right. <laughs> So here's what the room looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a little battle every day just to get set up. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, this used to be the setup where I would film ADHD's life videos. And you know, this is the computer setup over here, you know. But the thing is, there's so many packages and so many mystery boxes and so many weapons that come in. Something's gotta give. We're gonna go ahead right now and we're gonna get started on this. I don't even know where to get started. But hey, now that I've explained all that, does it sound a little bit more fun? Um, no. But the weapons part, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go and get into this, guys. Like I said, I have no clue where to get started. Let's start with there, because that's the first thing we get in the room, and it's probably the only thing we'll be able to pull out of here easily. <laughs> okay, but before we do that, I might actually take this off. It's a little nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'd only imagine. It's like 90 degrees here today. And inside here, I'm gonna go ahead and say, the fact that my wrist is sweating, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably like 150. 150. All right, let's wrap this thing up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks like you're rolling up a person. <laughs> I feel like there's a half a person I'm already rolling. <laughs> Oh, please God. And that's how you deal with the spacing issues in, in burial sites. Oh my God. <laughs> that's gonna be a lot, a lot smaller of a coffin. Okay, guys. So first, we're gonna be doing all of these like handled weapons again. This is not a collection video, guys. That will be coming very soon, possibly next week. We have to get this stuff out first. So there's weapons everywhere. There's weapons in the garage. There's weapons in here. There's weapons literally in my car. There's weapons everywhere. So in order to do a collection video, we have to get all that stuff together. So I'm gonna start with this section right here. We're gonna get all this stuff out of here, organized. Any of these you guys haven't seen before, I'll try and show you guys that along the way. All right, guys, so going through all those handled weapons, I found two or three things that you guys have not seen before. One of them is this, and this one also is that, but smaller. The reason why this was never used was because actually the rainbow katana you guys saw in the hydro dipping video was part of a three-part katana set. These are the two smaller ones. <laughs> this came from Alito P9, so thank you guys so much for this. So maybe we'll go outside and test these a little bit. And then also, you know, not every video idea could be, you know, could be a banger. One of them I thought would be cool is what if we made a whole video out of weapons or made out of wood. And that might still happen, but the person that I ordered, you know, had on the job of making those weapons, didn't make it very sharp. This is one of them. Get in here! <laughs> it looks like straight out of Minecraft. It's even got a glass breaker on the bottom, aka known as a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go outside and test some of these real quick, guys. We find the also try and bring that out for a real quick test. Then we gotta come back to actually cleaning, because, yeah, that, that's part of this thing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Big sword, big target. Little sword, little target. <laughs> we need to cut a steak, but you also have to save the leaf village. <laughs> Three, Two, one. I didn't cut it. It just kind of popped it. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Remember how on the last video it was the smoothest cut we ever seen? Oh! <laughs> With uh, with three of them? Yeah, with three of them, this is with one of them, and it is the most jagged. It's, it's more jagged than McJagger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this wooden sword now. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. We popped them open up here and on here. I think that's, nah, that's still did more damage. Donna's always the win. One might say steel is stronger than wood. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so here's a little update. We moved all of this stuff. So this was all, there's a bunch of handles here. There was a power washer here. All that stuff has been moved. We're gonna get to this in a second. Let's just show you where we're at, though. <laughs> right here, this is all the weapons that were literally in that one corner. That one. Oh, it looks like a lie. Can I go over there, though? <laughs> <laughs> and then Parker's going through all of these different packages from Wish and other places to figure out what stuff didn't get used, what stuff did get used, and how it could be saved, basically. <laughs> all right, so now what we're gonna be doing is trying to move all of this stuff, and this is where a majority of the hydro dipped weapons are. So this is where, again, we're getting all this stuff out for the collection video so that way you guys can see all the hydro dip stuff as well. But I'm guaranteeing you there's some stuff in this section too that you guys have never seen before. So let me see what I can find. I'll let you guys know. All right, guys. So we got this section cleared up. The only, let's see it. You know what's good, Parker? We finally found another camera battery. And <laughs> I found this thing, which is actually a device that shoots cans up into the sky. The reason why this never got used is because it has to stick into dirt. And mostly with the area out there that we have to work with is out of concrete. But there is a little dirt section, so maybe I'll just try to show you guys. Next I found is this pistol. I literally have no reason why this never got used. I couldn't tell you. Just sometimes stuff just gets lost in here, you know? I don't I probably, I probably got a kid or two in here. All right. <laughs> the next, this is something that I made that you guys never got to see, and this is a freaking club. <laughs> I this thing is an incredible name. <laughs> a club. A freaking club. It gives me a little behind the scene look here because the thing was, and I made this at bat for episode number one, a battle. Originally, this was supposed to be linked to the chain. What? <laughs> yeah. But it was obviously way too damn big. So when oh, it came yeah. down, it would have slammed my fingers. So I ended up just actually scrapping the idea and just putting around a handle around it to make it a damn mallet. You might be thinking, this looks really reminiscent of the bat in episode number two of battle. And that's because I had two good ideas. I was like, let's just go with both. <laughs> So we're gonna go outside and test out all of that stuff real quick. All right guys, so we got this thing in here. All we have to do apparently is put an empty soda can inside of here. I've never used it once and push it all the way down. Okay, so what you're supposed to be able to do is shoot that little yellow thing right there and it should launch the can into the air. Problem with that is though is you have to like shoot it and then shoot it again. But, I mean, that's a problem. Not if you have a gun that shoots multiple times. Yeah, exactly, which is not the case for most air guns. So we have a little, little thing that we're gonna be doing to make it a little easier, hopefully. All right guys, so how we're gonna do this, I'm gonna use this gun, the hydro dip right there to shoot the little target thing then that's gonna shoot the can up and I'm gonna pull this pistol out and I'm gonna shoot the can oh okay. it might not work that way but if the can shoots that would still be cool yeah that'd be pretty <laughs> sweet Oh, that was that pretty was, good. That was sick though. Let's try it with a full can. See if that works a little better. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try it with a full can of soda this time. Let's see if it works. Did it even shoot the little launch at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really shoot with a full can, it only shoots with an empty can. But hey, that's pretty cool. I think it's like 10 bucks. Damn! That's a, lot, that's a lot of fun for 10 bucks. That, that went off screen. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to the next item. Alright guys, we're testing out the club. This the other one was called, what, the institutionalizer. This is county. <laughs> <laughs> county this is county jail. jail. It's a little smaller. <laughs> Coconut test, let's see if we got it. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god. That is disgusting. You know what? There's something about this is just so much more barbaric. Like on a, a mat, you feel like you're about to slam it down. With this thing, it feels like you're like a. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a dumbass cave. Yeah, I was about to say, you feel like an idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, I should break this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how little that thing is. The catastrophe from this little tiny thing. Okay, guys, so we found out also this cheap ass pistol came with this incredible Nobel Prize. Like, <laughs> Nobel Prize. <laughs> Nobel Prize design. It came with a self healing target. It feels this nasty. It's like one of those rat traps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But look at this. So this is my wall. Here's a thin piece of plastic. No other gun comes to the target like this. Literally sticks the BB to it and drops it. That is amazing. <laughs> so as long as you are decently accurate, none of your stuff will get hurt. Let's try it with the Raptors whisper and see if it catches that. Oh, <laughs> All right, it may be a little unfair, but three, two, one. Oh, okay. Didn't work. It didn't work. Hey man, not that bad. We're like freaking like one third of the way there. Oh man, that looks like a room. And you're like, oh, oh never mind. He's just a filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna start going through it, guys, and see if I find anything you guys haven't seen before. I'll make sure I let you guys know. But God, cleaning sucks. I agree. <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below if you hate cleaning. Put hashtag cleaning is for Iobies. Okay, you get that, you get it. All right, guys. So we're cleaning still, and this is right here. I like to call King Raptors. Box of mystery. 
box of mystery. <laughs> it's self-explanatory. <laughs> so in this box of mystery, this was actually a box that was sent by Alito P. Nyes a long time ago. And some of the stuff got used and some of it didn't. I'm going to be going through some of the stuff that we didn't use, along with some other stuff that just ended up in here over time and has just not been used. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Hopefully we can get through it. Let's get started. Wait, wait, wait there's something trash here right there. I don't know. Oh, it's me, Froggy Fresh. What are you doing in there? Oh, this is where I always come for lunch. Wait, the, what, the trash? Yeah, the, you know what they say, you are a G, right? Oh, that's just, that's just sad. Who said I'm sad? You said I, I, I was sad. I didn't, no, no, no. I didn't, sad. I didn't say you were sad. I, I said that's sad. Oh. Yeah. Uh, for a second there, maybe you were caring about my well-being or something. Well, but you got wrong. Yeah, that, as usual. Hey, Froggy, what are you doing? You're missing the party. Okay, see you guys later. You can still see you. Oh, you can still see me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the first thing here. This is a Diva freaking Overwatch blaster. That's pretty cool. What? Yeah, wasn't that supposed to go to Josh? Yeah, I was supposed to send it to Josh. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> but look at this. If you've got a 13 year old cousin, you know what this is Fortnite! <laughs> this because I thought about maybe doing like an ADHD's life most dangerous nerd Fortnite. If you guys still want to see that, let me know. Maybe we might do it. I don't know. Let's open this thing up real quick. All right. It's all set up. Sweet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I set the whole thing up to be shot at. Yeah, you did. Fortnite, baby. All right, guys. So one of the items in King Reptar's box of mystery is this axe right here. This was never used because um, <laughs> it came in this box. But this is not just an axe. You could also blast yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so this is literally a axe. I didn't use this for clear YouTube guideline reasons. I didn't use this. But that's one of the items. So let's put this where nobody will ever have to see it again. <laughs> okay, especially YouTube. All right, then next, this thing pisses me off because this was $100, guys, and I couldn't make the return on it because of, well, I took too long. It was in here. <laughs> and this is why it was never in a video. This is a trench knife made out of 100% Damascus steel. Oh. And you know, I was thinking Damascus steel is extremely expensive. So for $100 to get a trench knife, I'm like, this has to be impossible. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> because it is Damascus steel. And man, look at the beauty on that steel. Ooh. That is nice. Right? But my fingers can't even fit in it. God, that sucks. <laughs> try and put your finger in there. Well, yeah, your I, finger will definitely fit that small that's as it is. stupid. I have the biggest finger. All right, try and put your finger in there right now then. Yeah, see, I told you you could do it. <laughs> you could probably put yours in those little tiny ones right there. <laughs> so this is it, guys. This thing we're not going to be testing out because I cannot test it out. This thing sucks ass. All right, another item is this right here. Ow! Oh, oh, that didn't feel good. This is a barber blade. For that reason is why it didn't get used. I didn't do that for the effect of trying to show you guys. <laughs> I don't like to hurt myself. <laughs> I don't like to hurt myself. But that's why another some items just don't make it into videos because of that. All right, next thing up in ADHD's World Box of Mysteries is this right here, okay? <laughs> and these did not get used because the first ones I had broke and I wasn't really sure about the second ones. These ones came actually from Blade City and I had bad experiences since so I never used it. But let's see, you know what? Let's Let's see if this one works. All right, so we have them right here. So as you guys can see, there's four freaking spikes that are made just for your impact on your punch, which those alone would hurt. What if we had electricity? Go ahead, those lights. So loud. It's very loud. So it's literally a taser, guys. But in between there, you have these freaking studs of a damn brass knuckles. Problem with tasers, though, guys, there's no way in a video to really show you how they work or if they're good or not. So that's why I didn't get the video. Okay, and the next item, these actually are really sick. And I don't know why I never got to use these as well everything. Probably just got lost in here. We're going to test these out. These are actually from the movie Riddick. These are freaking like these hand blade things. I don't even know what to call them. Let's go outside and test them now. All right, Riddick. Do I look like Vin Diesel? No, yeah, you look like Vin Diesel in the pacifier. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go for a stab test. Oh, <laughs> you wanna wanna find that? <laughs> I wanna wanna shower. <laughs> Dude, how to move a table? <laughs> All right, let's see if they're throwable real quick though. Oh, <laughs> it stuck through both sides and into the damn wall. I don't know. It's like they're so sick for as little as they are. That's, right. that's what they said about me. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're officially done. It took a long time. <laughs> a lot of elbow grease. I was just thinking elbow grease. <laughs> a lot of yeah. elbow grease had been used. But it is finally done. I will say that it doesn't look 100% clean because there's a bunch of packages in there. But other than that, check it out. 
Looks a lot cleaner in here, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not perfectly set. There's still, yeah, 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 don't show that, don't show that. <laughs> don't show that. So this is pretty much all the packages. This is what takes a majority of the room in this, uh, well, room. <laughs> so we're gonna, eventually this will be gone though as we film that stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, check out this video right here, which is actually the last episode of Fan Mail. You guys went absolutely ham as you always do, and there's a bunch of random mystery awesome packages you guys sent. So if you guys wanna check that video out, check it out right here, and I'll see you beautiful people over there, and as always, I'll see you in the next video as well. Adios, Rep Pack. Bloop.